Amen. Now let's let's open our Bibles to the book of uh, Matthew. Matthew. Matthew chapter six. Matthew chapter six. I read from verse uh, nine to ten. Verse nine to ten. I want to call our attention to something very important. Matthew chapter six. Verses 9 and 10. Jesus speaking to the Jews. Don't forget, he was speaking to the Jews. His disciples, these disciples were Jews. So he said to them, pray then like this. Pray like this. You understand? Pray like this. And he now says, he said, our father in heaven. So Jesus taught people how to pray. He says we address him as what? Our what? Our or we address him as Jehovah, Jireh, Jehovah, Nisi, Jehovah, Shama, Jehovah, Sikenu, eh? or Yah, or Yahweh, or all those big, big names. Is that what he said we should call him? What did he say we should call him? Our father. Amen. Amen. You will observe that even Jesus Christ, our Lord, when he prayed, he addressed God as what? Father. Understand that when you pray and you approach the God as Father, you are praying from understanding of who you are, your relationship with Him. You are praying at the level of the highest intimacy with God. Because you all here, huh? some of you will call me Pastor Joseph, is that not so? Huh? Uh-huh. Some people will see me and say, oh, Pastor. Some will say, uh, 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 um, engineer or whatever. Now, that's what you will call me. You understand? But my children, because of the level of their intimacy with me, my children that I give birth to, will they call me Pastor Joseph? Would they even call me Mr. Joseph? Or call me Mr. Ajao? No. They will call me what? Daddy. Is that not? Yes. Amen. So we call him Father. Amen. That's what Jesus taught us. To call him Father. When you call him all these other names, big, big names, whether Hebrew, Ewe, whichever one, those big, big names, you know how they call them. Uh-huh. When you call them all the Hebrew names, eh, you are kind of making, looking God from the a perspective of an outsider. You are not a member of the family. Uh-huh. It's like people calling Mr. President, you know, Akufado. Oh, Mr. President, sir. Mr. President, blah, blah, blah. But the children will not call him Mr. President, will they? What would they call him? Daddy. As simple as that. So we are his children. That's what he's telling you. We are his what? Children. We are his offspring. He, 
we, we, he gave birth to us. Amen. Amen. I hope you are a child of God. Yes. You know what it means to be a child of God? Yes. Amen. Amen. So all this uh, issue of uh, calling uh, Jehovah, calling Jehovah, calling Yahweh, please put that thing aside. It's just calling Father. Once you call him father, you are praying as a child, a son. You understand? Stop praying like an outsider. You are not an outsider. Let others call me Pastor Joseph. Not my son should call me Pastor Joseph. You should call me daddy. You understand? And then the protocol of uh, you know some people want to pray they believe because that's what they've been taught that before you can access God you have to praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, thank him, praise him, praise him. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. And it is caused with praise. So you have to praise him. You have to praise him. When you praise him, the heaven will open. No, there's nothing like that in the Bible. Listen, I'm not saying you should not praise God. I praise God, I worship, I do all that. But I don't do that to have access to God. No. Listen. Listen. If any of you comes to my house, you follow protocol because you are outsiders. You have to knock. I go. Is that not? Yes. My children coming from school, they just open the door. They don't care if me and their mother are doing something. They will open the door. You understand? They just, you just say I go. You don't want to go. They just open the door from outside. They are coming from school. I'm not saying bedroom door. I mean the door to the hall, from the to the to the hall. They will just open. Wow. They are the the only thing. Once they open, they will just say, uh -huh. "Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon." They will not make. But you, you dare not do that. You have to do what? I go. Ah, but my children don't do that. They don't follow that protocol. They are my children. So you don't follow, don't live like an outsider. Don't pray like an Don't approach God like an outsider. Approach him as your father. With confidence. With boldness. That's how you approach father. You understand? <laughs> Amen. So even Jesus Christ, our Lord, you don't see him <laughs> first eulogizing God, praising him, giving him, calling him big, big names so that everyone can open for him. Did you see him do that? No. See, God is not Togbe Afede. He is not the God of your village. 
that you have to eulogize him and be doing, hey, rank a daddy, hey, hey, so that head can say, okay, okay, I know you are, no, he's not, he's your father. I, I, can you imagine my son, because he wants to ask me for chop money, eh? he now can say, hmm, pastor, I shall, pastor, I shall. The anointed man of God. Oh, wonderful man of God. Imagine his praise. I this is <laughs> so that I can my hair can swell, eh? And I'll give him his chop money. And I say, yeah, actually, and I and I say, so what do you want? Uh, uh, Pastor, I want my chop money this time. <laughs> Something must be wrong with him. <laughs> is that not? My son will just say, Daddy, my, <laughs> I'm going over. Oh. That's it. A child doesn't follow all those protocols. You are a child of God. Amen. I want to say, I'm a child of God. Child of God. I approach my father approach without those protocols. Forget about religion. All this protocol they teach you in all those things. You don't need it. Approach your father and talk with him. Sometimes I want to start my prayer. I start my prayer. I go to what I want. Then I hand him with thanksgiving. Or in the middle, I now say, Father, thank you because I know you have answered me. Then I continue. He, my thanksgiving can start. It can be in the middle. It can be in the point. It's not me and my father, they talk. Nothing concerns you. Maybe <laughs> Amen. Amen. Am I saying we should not worship and praise God? Yes. You know, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying you should not worship God. I'm not saying you should not sing your your blues and you know sing some blues for God. I say oh. You know, I'm not saying you should not do that. You can do that. You are free. But don't make it a protocol to your father. The only thing that gives you access to your father eh, is your relationship with him. Hello? Your faith in the name of Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, the life. No one comes to the father. He said, by me. Have you come to the father by Jesus? Yes, when you believed in him. So where are you? As far as God is concerned, you are permanently in his presence. You don't need any open heaven before you access your father. You don't need to open any door before you access your father. Your father is with you. You are with him. You are one with him. So why all this protocol? You understand? Have that consciousness in you. Now, he, he continued in verse 9, he says, Pray then like this, Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Now, okay, read. Verse 9. You see? Hallowed be your name. That is, your name should be sanctified. Recognized as holy. You understand? But the question I want to ask us tonight is, what is his name? What is his name? Because, see, I was I, I was hearing a wonderful Christian music this afternoon. And it's a lovely music. I have nothing against the music, the, the music minister. He's an it's a, it's a anointed man of God. I love him. I thank God. But honestly, 
when, as I was listening, I was just laughing. I was just laughing. As I was listening, I was just laughing. Amen. You see, when you come to knowledge of, of, of the gospel and you truly begin to understand, there are some songs you, you just won't sing again. And even when you hear them, you just know that it needs a little balance in here and there. It's not really perfect. Amen. I was just hearing that song and then I started laughing. I just said, okay, it's all right. Amen. You understand? That? And the person was saying, oh, he, then I asked, what name fits you? He said, yeah. That is not biblical. That's not scriptural. I love the song, very lovely song. In the name, he said, yeah. 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 <laughs> the name that fits him. <laughs> I just laugh. I'm laughing again. Is the name that fits God? Yeah. You're mistaken. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You know, some of us when we pray, we 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 pray this kind of prayer. We say all this we ask in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. You have not said anything. I'm serious. You have not said anything. All this we ask in the name of the Father and in the name of the Son. The name of the Son. <laughs> You are just saying, so that I will just, I will just, when you say, when you finish your day, I will just, just, I will say, Amen. You know, it's just like Jesus and his disciples doing their water baptism thing, I'm just looking. I will just say, Amen. I accept it for you. Amen. But you've got to know there's nothing like in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Spirit. There's nothing like that. Amen. Look at the book of Matthew. I know it's from the book. That's the only place where it is. The name of God. Amen. But look at it again. Matthew chapter 28. Look at it. Verse, um, verse 19. Go there. Verse 19. It says, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the so in the name singular huh? some people say in the name of God the Father God the Son, God the Holy Spirit Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 Matthew 28 verse 19 Amen. That's what we say. But Jesus said, uh, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Uh, so, okay, if he said that, so how many people did you see in the Acts of the Apostles that were baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit? How many people did you see that that was were baptized? In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. How many people did you see that? Amen. 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 Glory to God. Well, it's lovely. <laughs> Amen. Amen. The Lord is good. All the time. I think we need one more of these to, yes. on Wednesday like this. And this is why we want to do our program so that the puppies will be permanent. Amen. Amen. But don't worry. Uh, let's continue. She has uh, helped herself. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, it says, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. But in the book of Acts of the Apostles, we never saw anybody baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Was there anybody baptized like that? Mm-hmm. So the disciples said, we baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Is there anything like that? No. no nothing. <laughs> Okay, in what name were people baptized? What's the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit? Go to Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2, verse 
Acts chapter 2. Verse 38. Verse 38. And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Is that what he said? In the name of who? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You understand? So people were baptized in the name of Jesus. So that is the name of the Father, that's the name of the Son, that's the name of the Holy Spirit because they are one. That's their name. So when you say Jesus, you are calling the Father, you are calling the Son, you are calling the Spirit. They are one. So that's the name that fits them. Amen. Amen. Do you understand? They, they were baptized in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There are other places I can show you where people were baptized. You see, there is nothing like in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you look at um, um, verse 16, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 8, verse 16, Acts chapter 8, verse 16. Acts chapter 8, verse 16 says, For he had not yet fallen on any of them, but they had only been baptized. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of who? Jesus. Simple. That's the name. Jesus. Do you understand? Do you, you get it now? Yes. Baptism was done in the name of the Lord. And if you look at First Corinthians uh, because of my time. First Corinthians, chapter 1. First Corinthians, we read this on Sunday, so we read it. I want to point attention to something there. Look at it. Look at um, verse, um, verse 13. Verse 13. First Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 13 says, Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? Did you see that? Now, verse 15. Look at verse 15. It says, okay, let's read verse 14 to 15 so that we see it again. I thank God that I baptized none of you except Crispus and Gaius, so that no one may say that you were baptized in my name. Did you see that? So, it's not about the name of the Father, the Son. That's what I want you to see. There is a name you are baptized in. And that is Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. So it's nothing like the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. And there's nothing like I pray. So all this we pray in the name of the Father and of the Son. That's nothing. It's nonsense. Stop praying like that. Stop ending your prayer like that. When next you do that after this teaching. I will give you a slap in your mouth to, to call you back to your sense. You understand? <laughs> that was a joke anyway. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. That was a joke. I wouldn't, you know, I would not slap him. Amen. Amen. But I'll just laugh at you and say, This guy, you have not learned. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, why is this so? Why is it so? Because, as I said, the Father is in the Son, the Son is in the Father, eh? and 
His name is Jesus. So, so when you say when you say Jesus, you are calling all of them. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, they all answer. That's their name. That's the name they answer to. Amen. So the whole of deity, the whole of what is called God, lives in Christ. You understand? Look at the book of Colossians chapter 2. Colossians chapter 2. Colossians chapter 2 verse 9. Colossians chapter 2 verse 9. It says, for in him, that is in Christ, the whole fullness of deity dwells bodily. The whole fullness of deity, that is whatever, what is called God, that deity called God, everything about God dwells where? In Christ. You get it now? Hello? So, it's not about Jehovah. <laughs> it's about Jesus. You understand? So, hallowed be your name. You've got to hallow that name Jesus. Amen. 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 You know, Philip said, when Jesus said, um, uh, you know, I'm, in the, uh, I'm going to the Father. Philip said, show us the Father. That's enough. It, what did he tell Philip? He said, Philip, have I been with you all this time and yet you don't know me? You don't know that when you see me, you have seen the Father? You understand? So, they are one. Amen. You get it? So when you say in the name of Jesus, hello, you are called that name, all of heaven stands at attention. All of heaven. All of heaven. So, if you ask God, if you truly ask God and you truly heard from Him and you say, What name fits you? You would have told this Jesus, not Yah. Because you will know. It's not Yah, it's not Yah, it's not Yah, it's, not yeah. not, it's Jesus. Yeah. That's the name He wants. Amen. 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 That's his name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, when we come, we come in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There's no name, no other name given that we should call or approach God with than that name, Jesus. Amen. Not here, yeah. not you, not that name. That name. Don't, don't belittle it. And don't, don't be carried by emotions of how some people sing. Don't be carried by it. No, judge what you hear by scripture. I love the song. Oh, if you if if I can play it, I don't be laughing. I can just play it for. Music sake, just to feel good, feel good. But that doesn't mean I agree with what he's saying. I know better. Because I know the name that God wants to be called is Jesus. Amen. 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 So the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Spirit is one. Singular, not names. One. That's the name the Father bears. That's the name the Son bears. That's the name the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is not a name. Is he a name? It's a description. 
Holy Spirit. It's the Spirit that is holy. It's not a name. It's a description. Father is not a name. It's a description of our relationship with him. The son, that is his description. You understand? But when you talk about name, it's Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You know, in the book of Hebrews, chapter 1, Hebrews, chapter 1, Hebrews, chapter 1, Hebrews, the book of Hebrews, chapter 1. Let's read verses 1 to verse um, 4. Pay attention as I read, please. Hebrews chapter 1 from verse chapter 1 from verse 1 to 4. Are you there? Yes. Have you reached Hebrews chapter 1? <laughs> if you are there, wave your hand. You are there. Hebrews chapter 1. Thank you. It says, Long ago, at many times, and in many ways, God spoke to our fathers by the prophets. You see? You see what the author of Hebrews is saying? He said, long ago, in many ways and at many times, God spoke to our fathers through the prophets. Amen. Amen. In many ways. At different times. So, in different ways, he spoke to Moses, to Abraham. He re- Listen, to Abraham, he revealed himself as El Shaddai. El Shaddai. Amen. Amen. But when he got to Moses, he said, Moses, uh uh uh, Abraham did not even really know me. I'm giving you my name. I want you to know me. Now, by myself, I revealed myself to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob as El Shaddai. But by my name, Jehovah, they did not know me. So he gave him Jehovah. And with Jehovah, he was working wonders. So the prophets. Amen. Amen. And that's how he was revealing himself to them. Different names. And so they have Jehovah Shammah, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah this, Jehovah that, Jehovah this, Yahweh this, and all and all. But look at what he says in verse 2. He said, but in these last days, he has spoken to us by or in his son. Who is his son? Jesus. Jesus. Whom he appointed the heir of all things. The heir of all those names. He inherited all the names. Hello? So Jesus Christ he inherited all those names put together. He packed all of them together. Amen. Amen. He's the heir of all things. Everything about God. He says, I'm the easy. He said, everything the Father has belongs to him. Hello? Amen. That's the Jesus we are talking about. Amen. In these last days, God has revealed himself to us in his son. Whom he appointed the heir of all things, through whom he also created the world. Verse 3. He is the radiance of the glory of God and the exact imprint of his nature. And he opposed all he opposed the universe by the word of his power. After making purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of, of the majesty on high. Verse 4. Having become as much superior to angels as the name, the name. He has inherited is more excellent than what? Than this. Don't let nobody deceive you by calling the name of one angel Janjanguraja. All those nonsense. Put all those nonsense away. You don't need those stuff. He has obtained, he has inherited, he has obtained the name that is more excellent than all of them. So when you say Jesus, you are calling the highest name. Highest name. And God has given him the name that is above every name in heaven and then under the earth. You understand? So respect that name. Allow that name. 
Et là, nous avons parlé à la gouvernance. Et je veux que vous fassiez le matin le mot pour vous bouillir. Car quel est le membre à moi? Et je veux que vous fassiez ton bien. Et je suis sorti. Et il fait bon comme on peut faire ça. Et il fait on peut monter trop et nous y mettre. Et il est en colère. Et il y a une colère. Il veut que je suis sorti pour voir ton colère que vous vous battez dans les. Car nous c'est nous c'est mon bon sang qui est en colère. Mais allez venir à table pour colère nous. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you with me? Yes. Hello, are you with me tonight? Yes. Are you really with me? Yes. Amen. Amen. So, please, some people are trying to learn those names so that they can use it to, they want to get God's attention. They have been told that if you call him Jehovah this, Jehovah that, Jehovah this, so that his head will swell. <laughs> Say, hmm. Hmm, somebody is calling me. AJ Michael, somebody is calling me. AJ Gabriel, did you hear something? Did you hear something? Somebody is calling me. That guy know my name. He know my name. Uh-uh. No. His name is Jesus. Amen. As simple as that. See, stop looking for big, big names. God is very simple. Say, because he has known my name, he will call upon me and I will answer you. And what name did Jesus say we should call? Jesus. Jesus. You know, you know when they when there are people who knows how to call those names. Who, hey, when some men or God want to pray, they will call that. They will start calling that name. People will be saying, mm, 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 mm. That thing is sentiment and emotion. See, just say in Jesus' name. So when you see somebody calling, you think God, he, he, the prayer was answered him because he made all that long name, calling him big, big names. Don't be bamboozled by those things. The name of Jesus is all that you need. In my name, they will cast out him. Whatever you ask the Father, in my name, he will give it to you. Amen. You understand? Keep it simple. As simple as that. You understand? You understand? When Peter wanted to heal the man at the gate beautiful, what did he say? In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Okay. Okay. You, you understand? Is it clear? Is it clear now? So is there anything like the name, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit we pray? No. In the name of Jesus we pray. I know many of us, we have learned, we have learned that in secondary school. That's how we pray. And all, and all this we ask in the name of the Father and of the Son. I know the Holy Ghost. <laughs> I think that was the word the word they use in cutting my my birthday cake. And that was the use. <laughs> I was just laughing. I was just laughing. And they say in the name of the Father and of the Son. And I was just laughing. You see, I was laughing. Or some people do like this in the name of the Father. No, this one. No, <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah.
in Jesus' name. Amen. That's all. <laughs> Amen. Hello. Okay. Amen. Look at the book of John. John, I think I need to stress this very well. Amen. John. Yeah. John chapter um, 5. John chapter 5. John chapter 5. Look at verse 22 to 23. John chapter 5. Verse 22 to 23. Pay attention to what Jesus Christ says here. Are you there? John chapter 5, verse 22 and 23. Are you there? It says, The Father judges no one, but has given all judgment to who? Who is the Son? Jesus. Now, he said that all may honor, allow, honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. So if you reject the name of Jesus, if you like, call him Jehovah, call him Yahweh, call him you, you are wasting your time. You are living disobedience. All the honor goes to who? The Son. Amen. Amen. And John chapter chapter 3, verse 35. John chapter 3, verse 35 says, The Father loves the Son and has given all things into his hands. Amen. 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 So all so the answer to your prayer is it in the hand of Jehovah? Mm-hmm. Is in the hand of who? Jesus. Thank you. Keep it simple. Amen. Amen. Now go back to Matthew chapter six, so that we round up for tonight. That we we'll go and pray. Matthew chapter six. We read verse nine to ten. Pray then like this Our Father in heaven Hallowed be your name Now verse 10 says Your kingdom come Your will be done on earth As it is in heaven Amen. 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 He said, Your kingdom come. Don't forget, it's a prayer. It's a what? Prayer. That means, Let your kingdom come. Thy will, thy, na- thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It's a prayer. Amen. Glory to God. Which means, Jesus is telling us that, listen, the kingdom of God does not come automatically. We need to pray it to come. It is given in answer to prayer. When we say the kingdom of God, I mean the will of God. Because the kingdom of God is the will of God. Amen? So, the will of God does not happen automatically. We must pray it into effect. So, 
you, the will of God has been revealed to you. Don't go and sit down and say, oh, it, it's going to happen. What's going to be is going to be. <laughs> what goes up must come down. No. No. That's when you should wake up to pray. Pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus knew the will of the Father, didn't he? Yes. That the will of the Father was for him to come and lay down his life for us. Is that not so? But you, but did we see him praying? He want to pray. He prayed for that will of God to be done. Amen. Why? Because there are forces on this earth that oppose the will of God. Even your own flesh, your body, will resist the fulfillment of the will of God for you. There are satanic forces on earth that doesn't want the will of God to be done. So you must pray that will of God into manifestation. That's why Jesus gave himself to much praying. In the day, in the night, he prayed. And finally, in the garden of Gethsemane, he prayed. Nevertheless, not as I will, but I will be. Something wanted him to shift it and say, No, can't take this cup away from me. But thank God for prayer. And it was in the place of prayer. The Bible says he prayed them all. Eh? So much that the sweat that was coming from his body was dropping like what? Dr- blood. His, his prayer was fervent. Okay. For the sake of those who have not read that place before, let's go there. Luke chapter 20, chapter 22. Luke 22. Luke chapter 22. Luke chapter 22. I start reading from verse 41. I'll read to verse 44. From verse that's 41 through to 44. He says, And he withdrew from them about a stone throw and knelt down and prayed, saying, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. And there appeared to him an angel from heaven, strengthening him. Verse 44. And being in an agony, he prayed more earnestly, that is, heartfelt, continued prayer, and his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down to the ground. You can see? So when you see us praying and we are sweating, we are following the order of Jesus Christ. That's why I said, doing come prayer doesn't bring the will of God to pass. You got to pray hard. You pray earnestly, fervently. Hallelujah. Your whole heart, your whole being is in that prayer. You want to bear the will of God. You want to bring it to pass. You want it, you want to enforce it on earth. You want the will of God for your life to be done, then you give yourself to prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. If we don't pray, listen. Hello, look up here. If you don't pray, the natural, the natural thing will happen. What do I mean by that? What do I mean by the natural thing will happen? The natural thing or the will of the enemy will come to pass. Amen. For example, you remember that 
Isaiah came to King Ezekiah and he said, put your house in order because you will die. You will not leave. You know he was sick. Then that, that statement was an answer to his natural inquiry. Am I going to live or die? Naturally, without divine intervention. Naturally, if it goes like that, you will surely die. So let us prepare. Hello? But Ezekiah the king, the Bible says he got up when he heard that message. Hello? Yeah. It's like you receive a lab report, a medical lab report. Eh? Scan report. And that's what he gave you. So he got up and then prayed. Now he prayed. He cried out to God. Then, in answer to prayer, there was divine intervention. And there was an overturn. So the will of God is what? Life. Amen. What is the will of God? Is death the will of God? Untimely death, is it the will of God? No. 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 Amen. So, because he prayed, the will of God, which is healing, life was done on earth. Is that not so? If he did, if he did not pray, now so he go die. Oh. He will just die like that. Amen. Amen. Ha, that's the Old Testament. Come to the New Testament. Peter was arrested and put in prison, slated to be killed. And the church prayed. When James was arrested like that, the church did not pray. And the natural thing happened. What do you think should happen? The enemy will error beheaded James, and nothing the, the fire come down from heaven. Did the hand of the person that cut it, did it bend? Did the sword change to feather? No, he cut it. Yeah. And in heaven, they welcome him. Welcome. Hello? But when they got Peter, the church wake up. Ah, this thing cannot continue like this. The Bible said they began to pray. They began to pray. Their prayer was earnest, heartfelt, continued prayer. And as a result, angels move into action. Then the will of the man was not fulfilled. The will of God for Peter, which is what? Deliverance and life. That's the will of God. Death of Peter was not the will of God. Deliverance is God's will. So that's why we pray. We pray to enforce the will of God on earth. But you must know the will of God. Hello? You must what? You must know the will of God. Praise the Lord. You know that will of God. It's in the scripture. Amen. The will of God for you is life, is health. The will of God for you is that you should not lack. The will of God is for you is success. That's what God wants for you. God has no pleasure in your death or your sickness. Hello. But if you don't pray, that's where it will be. Even Jesus had to pray. Even Jesus had to what? And he's in the place of prayer. He got power. 
then he fulfilled the will of the Father. So tonight, you know how to pray now. We pray in the name of Jesus. We call upon the Father in the name of Jesus. When we enforce the will of God, Amen. Amen. Healing is the will of God, not sickness. Hello? Hello? Provision for your need. That's the will of God, not lack. Hello? Deliverance is the will of God. Hello? Not that you remain in bondage. I man is here, and some of you are here. Some of you know how divine you saw that Adam somewhere was going to die. You saw all those things that were happening to him. And that was the will of the enemy. That was what Satan wanted. That he will be arrested. Huh? That was it. And God reveals to redeem so that you can pray. Is that not so? Yes. If we did not pray, my brother, that boy will go very a long time. He himself, no. Amen? Amen. But we rose up and we said, no. The will of God must be done. What is the will of God that it should be delivered and it should live? That's God's will. But if you don't pray, the will of the devil will be done. And God will not be blamed for it. God will remain God. If you like saying you don't, you are not serving God again, God remains God forever. So you better wake up to your responsibility. Amen. Amen. I want to say, I give myself to prayer. That the will of God for my life might be done. Amen. Amen. And how do you pray the will of God? You pray in the Holy Spirit. Hello? You pray in the Holy Ghost. You bring the Holy Spirit into the matter. Hello? Because the Holy Spirit knows how to pray better than you do. In Romans chapter 8, you remember? Verse 26 and 27. He said, the Spirit, the, he said, likewise, the Spirit helps, our, helps us in our weaknesses. Because we don't know what to pray for as we ought. We don't even know how to go about it. He said, he said but the Spirit... The Spirit makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Amen. Amen. He makes intercession for the saints. How many saints are here? Are you a saint? Are you a saint? Or you are a sinner? Are you a saint? Come on, let's be on our feet now. Hey, the Holy Ghost make it intercession. He makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God so that the will of God can be performed, so that the will of God can be established, so that the will of God can be done. I want you to now and surrender everything and say, Holy Ghost, help me tonight. The will of God is life. 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 The will of God is your help. He said, beloved, I wish above all things that you should prosper and be in help even as your soul prospers. Sickness is not the will of God. That sickness in your body is not the will of God. That frustration, financial frustration, is not the will of God. No, you can turn things around. The will of God in provision is abundance. The will of God is abundance. The will of God is overflowing abundance. As you pray, miracles are happening. Angels are moving into action. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Hello. I told you all about how my son was sick at Trafalgar. How some nurse, I don't know, gave him the wrong injection by IV, intravenous, you know, uh, yeah, uh, and uh, 
the boy began to convulse instantly. Wrong medication. By mistake. And the boy was dying. His blood pressure went up suddenly. The boy that was fine. And I had doctors. Listen, I had doctors, two doctors that were called pediatricians. They were called to come and attend to myself. He was he was convulsing. His blood, the, the, digit, the digital uh, uh, blood pressure or something was reading p -p -p -high, very high. It was reading very high. The pulse was reading crazy. I heard the doctor saying, This boy can snap. Oh. This boy can snap anytime. I heard them. They were discussing. They said, This boy can die anytime. This boy can die. The heart, the heart can seize. He can go into. I heard them. So, did, what did I do? That is, if I don't pray, the natural thing will happen. And God will, God will remain God. So, what did I do? I switch into action. Doctors don't know what to do, but I know what to do. Yes. I went there, lay hand on my son. I laid hand on him. I called him by name. He's my son. Is he not my son? And I laid hand on him and I commanded him. I said, My son, don't leave this body. That means don't die. You are not prepared. I said, I am your father. Except you are not my son. But if you are my son, the Bible says, Children, obey your father. Obey your father. I lay hand on him and was firing. There's nothing, there's no time for Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Kappa, Jehovah Ram. I lay hand in the name of Jesus. Boy, I am your father. The Bible says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord. If I be your parent, then I command you never to leave this body. You must not leave this body. The boy has closed his eyes. The white, only the white is gone. The white is gone. But I say you must not die. You must not leave this body. You must not die. Until the doctors can take care, you must not die. If I didn't pray, my son would have died. The will of God for my son is life, not death. Hallelujah. But if I did not pray, some of us, we just surrender all everything to the hand of doctors. You are not praying. Uh, you better pray. Doctors can fail. Medicine can fail. Hello. Things can enemies can turn things around against you if you don't pray. Hello. So I prayed and God answered me. I enforce the will of God through prayer. Brethren, you must pray. Tell yourself, I must pray. I must pray. The way you are even saying it, you are not sure. I must pray. And I pray tonight. In the name of Jesus. I pray tonight. I pray tonight. In the name of Jesus. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Concerning that issue, pray. Pray now. Pray now. Concerning that matter. You know the will of God concerning your life. It's health, it's healing. The karma of sick and deliver hearted. The will of God must be done in your life. The will of God must be done in your life. The will of God must be done in your life. A second no ke polibre tiliama. Ye mangelo da sika manu ke pelura. Ye grene koto blaha na ke tule brahina. Ke mrada da kandele gorogoto. Ke preke da brosu te kado. Ke pamama se ke dozi. Ke bravo ko sondo le preke te. Ke paka sata kroze ke te. Ke bramam rodogoto. Ke mrina plomo ko sunde libra. Ke kanda gade so ko tule preke te. Ke bravo ko su te kataka. Ke pamama mama mama se ke ke te ke te koto. Ke rado ko to le preke ki te. Le bramo momo sunde liaba ki ya te. E bravo se ke to to. E crezi te marina. Ragata Soso, a precatelia, a lebro console, a breno no cataya de cutec, 
করে এ বাবা রাবা কুজে কে তোজো এ ব্রাহ্মণ মন 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 এ পাল যে কি থেকে তোজো এ প্রভু বসন ধরে পেকে গেছে বলে নি কাপু ঝোকে চলি গলা এ ব্রেনে গো সকলে রাখি থেকে তোজো এ প্রভু মন সেকে থেকে গেছে এ পাল যে কে তোজে এ ব্রাহ্মণ মন মন এ কু বাকি যাসু কাপো তোলি ব্রাহ্মণ Jesus Nasute ka nasuke te e pranga da si prokoto e pranga de gria gate e me groto ka ke dozo e prana ke te e prana du te e prano ke te e sonto le prana ka lego e praga do se ke te e proba ka ne mo tu e praga da ga de goto e me ka sonto e prega le do e praka zeria la grace goto in jesus name we are praying Do you know by prayer you can control things. Do you know as you pray angels are moving into action. Do you know the angels of God were there when James was beheaded? No prayer was there. So angels could not. But when they prayed, when they prayed, when they prayed angels moved. angels moved did you notice that did you notice that even as jesus was praying in the garden an angel came down angel prayers activate angels they they command angels amen what you cannot do by yourself angels will do it in as you are praying so as you are praying angels are moving angels are what as you are praying angels are moving Angels are moving. Concerning that matter, angels are moving. As you are praying, angels are moving now into action. They are moving into action. As you are praying, miracles are happening. Miracles are happening. Solutions are coming. Solutions are coming. Solutions are coming. Solutions are manifesting. As you are praying, as you are praying, angels are moving into action. So different parts of the world different parts of the world as you pray they come out so don't break it in e kanna sekete so e proma kanseliate e na branda kelina e le proba baba sete e kasi de bluna regele do do sua e ben grasi e kababa ba kotoli abrada ba le bramo rete ke do e brege de do e brege de do e sita kasu le prakite e mano ke sete e kanza so fe ke tu le prakite e rana se codo e prana e sete i rede de e trene ne e su to bagina e grazia tu li ama ma se na ca ya te con e prende lo do caparate e grese ne no no e grava san so pre che te de prodia e cozo so pre che che te le grazia ca te i lina ma la se e grozo che te te i la zita ho e bramando e bramando e grese le not che ti le da e grazo so pre dia e cuma se ti aba e regala so codo e Brina pro, e pramanze, e lunra de, e lunra de, e kodasi ateli ama, nasindeli ama mama, e kezazuto, e kava baba, e kazazundo li ama, le promo kosute, re da kasoto le prekete, e manda ko bakanya te libra ha, e braka te libra ho, e kenze lo bra ha, e kezozu kekete, e banga wanande, e rondonda nia, e granage, e pramande, e promondo, e kezende, e brama mama, fatili to pray moving angels into action your prayers is moving angels into action angels are moving into action the power of god is manifesting there's divine intervention for you there's divine intervention for you as you are praying there's divine intervention miracles are happening miracles are happening ya kabo sokole prekere 
ye boko bo robo ko songo le prekekete ye la mama mara ba toli abara bara bara ba rege no brati ya brane ye braba ka seto zulu ye muna ka se de provia ye ka bara 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 ba rokondo li abara ba ma ye ke se te ko to zulu ye man se ke te la bramando li ye ka se ti ge ye promo mo mo songo le prekekete ye bata ka da ge de ko to ga de rage songo li prekekete ye transuto ye brano ke te ge ye transuto ye zazute e bra mama e koba kasata le brekete e nanza katale bruna e keze to libra ha in jesus name of me pray you know jesus told peter he said peter satan has desired to have you that he may sift you like wheat that means satan wants to wipe you off jesus said but i have prayed for you but even though jesus said i have prayed for you jesus still told peter and others is a watch and pray that you do not fall into temptation what is the will what is the will of god for peter that he should overcome that temptation is that not so but you know that peter fell into it three times them 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 why in the place of prayer he just and john what were they doing what were they doing they were sleeping the master was praying in agony they were sleeping the master received strength to go through the pain of the cross and fulfill the will of god but peter thought not by good faith he thought not by strength one small girl like this finished him one small girl finished him One small girl finished it. Finished it. He denied Jesus three times. Why? He did not keep himself to prayer. Brethren, we must give ourselves to prayer. That is how to make the will of God to be done. That sickness is not the will of God for you. That thing you are suffering. Will of God for you. The will of God for you is life. Will of God for you. Hallelujah. I want you to lift up your voice one more time. We pray and cry out and say, Lord, in the name of Jesus, this is what the will of God for my life is, and I'm enforcing it tonight. I'm enforcing it tonight. This sickness go. This pain leave my body. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Let there be breakthrough. Let the door be open. My promotion come. That good thing that God has ordained for me come. Pray in the name of Jesus. 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 Command every blessing to come in the name of Jesus. Let the will of God be done in your life. Let the purposes of God be fulfilled in the name of Jesus.